Today is a big day. Because today is the day that we climb Mount Fuji. summit by sunrise. So we actually have like a really really long train ride ahead of us so we're actually gonna head out and grab some lunch before we leave um, and then we have like a bunch of cliff bars, vegan protein shake and stuff like that that we're gonna take at the mountain. coming with us all the way up to Mount Fuji. Okay. Ooh, it changed just for you. Beautiful. Just shows like a dude like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, whoop, right here. We are at the base of Mount Fuji. We are about to climb up to the summit and see the sunrise. It's really cold. <laughs> Actually, on the way over here, it's really interesting because we got lost many times. We got so lost. We went the opposite direction of where we were supposed to go. Firemen helped us. Yes, it was so sweet. The fire department pointed us out Whoa. exactly where we need to go. <laughs> and then um, they waved bye to all of us. It was so sweet. They were so nice and so helpful. Okay, so in the backpack, I have just like a bunch of clothes, like um, extra spares in case I need it. In here, I have like electronics and just like, you know, deodorant, toothbrush, um, safety, like first aid type of things. Um, and then right here, I have like my passport, personal information, stuff like that, my Passmo. Here, I have a bunch of snacks. I have two things of trail mix, two kind snacks, two um, Nature Valley granola bars. These are peanut butter ones and they don't have any honey. A bunch of cliff bars. <laughs> and then uh, for ease of access on the side, I have this protein shake that I'm gonna have for sustenance while I'm on my way up. I also have this uh, vitamin B12 energy drink. Um, it has some caffeine in it that's gonna help me, you know, stay awake <laughs> during the night. Um, and it's also gonna give me the energy to get up there. This is my squad. This is the Fuji Flock, the Summit Squad. <laughs> so bear with me. Turn the dial on until I hit 60. At night, with like all of the lights out, when we were like far from like civilization, you could see the Milky Way. It was so beautiful. Yeah, there was like three shooting stars that we saw. I saw none of them, somehow, <laughs> but apparently there were plenty. Then uh, we started our hike. We made our way up super quickly into the hike. You started dying. <laughs> we uh, split up. Yeah. And then... Uh, Rieger and Ryan went ahead of us, and me, Jeff and Joe, we stayed behind because I'm the queen weenie. Yep. We bought our oxygen, which you still owe me for, and then, <laughs> uh, and then we ended up seeing a UFO. Jeff and I saw a UFO. Can't explain it. All I know is I saw some shit. I did. I missed the UFO. We were like going above the clouds, and there was like some lights or something. I did not get to see them. Shit was whack. 
it was a fucking UFO, and I have never experienced anything supernatural. Day. That was the day. It was a straight up UFO. It was. It really was. And then we uh, continued the climb. We saw Met, this guy named Carter, super chill. Yes, Carter is vegan too. We started talking to him. He's from Michigan, and we offered him some of our food, and he was like, uh. I'm vegan, so honestly, I don't know if I can have any of your food. And we were like, oh my god, we're vegan too. Except for Joe. Yeah, except He's not for cool. <laughs> Since he went earlier than us, he actually got to get this really big walking stick. Basically, what, what the tourists do with the walking stick is they get stamps along all of the little bases that you pass on your way up. his stick so he's staying behind and we are gonna go ahead Hello. Oh. Look at really sad face. The view is so gorgeous up here. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. I'm feeling Ooh, drizzling. Feel that? some drizzle. I'm having a bit of trouble acclimating to the altitude up here. Back at the base. 
You guys may have noticed that I'm not my regular cute self right now. I'm really ugly. And that's because I'm on 30 hours of no sleep. I'm brain dead right now. Okay, so I felt way too sick to keep going. So I, I took a little nap um, for like 30 minutes. And then I asked them like, I, I'm feeling sick. Like, how do I leave? How do I go down the mountain? Call emergency services. <laughs> I was low key. Yeah, I was telling them, call emergency services, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but no, they, they told me like no, you just have to expensive. you just have to go to this other path over here and that'll take you to the descent trail. And the descent trail it's just zigzag. Um, of like volcanic rock. I had to go up just like a little bit. That killed me, but then you know, I just went down. On my way down. I had already met up with Nicole and Ryan, and we were like, okay, let's head down. And this whole time, this entire time, as we're descending from the summit, I'm messaging them. I'm messaging Melanie and asking her, where are you? Did you call emergency services? What is happening? Where are you? No response. Dead. I'm like, well, shit. I, well, I, I need to go down the same way we came up, because that's probably, they don't know any better. They, 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 they're probably lost. So I talked to Nicole, I talked to Ryan, and we all unanimously agree. We're going to go down the same way we came up and find them. We go down the entire way down, the same way we came back up, through like jagged rock, slippery, loose ground, as it's like drizzling, raining, and my face is just getting pounded and pounded. The audacity of this person to ask me, where are you at? We're waiting for you at the, at the lounge. I was so done. Okay, but like... <laughs> the descent trail was so easy. <laughs> it was literally just zigzag. I hate you. <laughs> we just walked. I hate you. <laughs> so our hike started at 11.30, okay? 11.30 p.m. And we went all the way up to try to see the daybreak. We were supposed to be up by sunset. We weren't. But we got to the top and started like descending at around six right six and then we started the descend and we didn't get there until like eight nine eight thirty eight thirty we i jeff and i finished okay <laughs> we had been up since like 12 the, that, that day though we didn't leave till like 3 30 in the afternoon we got there at 11 and we weren't all completely done till like 12 in, in the afternoon which is when we started finally hitting back. We were all on zombie mode, and just some of us were all of better us. rested than others. <laughs> we made it back. But we all died. Never doing it again. <laughs> never. I hate nature. 